This topic covers the use of the configuration function within the Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. This function allows you to view and change the electronic control modules, or ECM's, configurable information. Some parameters or informational items are available to be changed or updated. The configuration screen is one place where this option is a possibility. The available parameters change depending on the connected Caterpillar product. You can access the configuration function in three different ways. You can click on the configuration button on the toolbar, press the F5 key, or select configuration from the service menu. The CAT electronic technician configuration screen displays. As you can see, the display area has four columns. The description column gives the name of the parameters that may be configured. The value column displays the current value of the parameter. The unit column displays the configuration parameters units if applicable. The TT column displays the list of tattletale values if applicable. Tattletales represent the number of times the configuration parameter value has been changed. There is more than one page of parameters that you can view and change. Use the scroll bar on the right-hand side of the screen to view more parameters. Changing configuration parameter values can be accomplished by highlighting a parameter that has a value that can be changed and clicking the Change button in the lower left corner of the screen. The Change Parameter Value screen displays. Type the new value in the field provided and click the OK button. A confirmation dialog displays prompting you to verify the change. The configuration parameter is updated. If you select a particular parameter and the change button is disabled, or if a message box indicates that it is not available to modify, you may not change its value. Some parameters can only be changed upon entering a factory or customer level password. This is determined by the individual ECM software. When changing the engine power rating, a factory password is generally required. Changing the rating number also causes the rating type, advertised power, governed speed, rated peak torque, top engine speed range, test spec, and test spec with brake saver to change. This concludes the configuration topic. If you would like to view it again, please click the play button or click on the menu button to return to the main menu. This topic covers the Electronic Technician, or ET, trainer. ET Trainer allows you to run ET in a training mode so that you can become familiar with the functionality of the Caterpillar Electronic Technician without being connected to a Caterpillar machine and communications adapter. There is no charge for ET Trainer, and it can be run without CAT ET licensing. ET Trainer version 3.1 simulates ET functionality for the 777C off-highway truck, the 3406E truck engine, and the 950G medium wheel loader transmission. To access ET Trainer, first select Caterpillar ET from the Programs menu. 
Then select Electronic Technician from the submenu. The Electronic Technician connection box displays. The CAT electronic technician screen displays and attempts to connect to an electronic control module, or ECM. Push the Stop Connect button. The CAT electronic technician screen displays. To run ET Trainer, click on the Enable ET Trainer icon on the toolbar, or select ET Trainer from the Help menu, then select Enable from the submenu. The ET Trainer dialog box allows you to select an application you would like to use from the drop down list. For this topic, we will choose the 3406E truck by clicking the OK button. The CAT ET connection window displays for a few seconds. When starting ET Trainer, this screen displays to emulate what would happen if you were actually connected to a machine. The ECM summary screen displays in Trainer mode. You can tell you are in Trainer mode because the title bar at the top of the window is labeled Trainer Active. You are now able to use CAT ET in a training mode. This will give you an idea of what CAT ET can do and how to use it. To change to a different Caterpillar product while in ET Trainer, choose ET Trainer from the Help menu and then select Properties from the Cascading menu. Select a different Caterpillar product from the application drop-down list and click the OK button. For this topic, we will select the 777C off-highway truck. The CAT ET connection window displays for a few seconds. When changing machines in ET Trainer, this screen again displays to emulate what would happen if you were actually connected to a machine. In ET Trainer, the 777C has multiple electronic control modules, so the ECM selector screen displays. This screen is used to select the ECM you would like to work with first. Choose an ECM and click OK. The ECM summary screen displays in Trainer mode. You can tell you are in Trainer mode because the title bar at the top of the window is labeled Trainer Active. To exit ET Trainer, click on the Disable ET Trainer icon on the toolbar or select ET Trainer from the Help menu. Then select Disable from the submenu. The CAT electronic technician screen redisplays. This concludes the ET Trainer topic. Click the Play button to view this topic again, or click on the Menu button to return to the main menu.